So just recently I finished my final exams and projects at Rice, which means that my winter break has finally come. But before that, I thought it'd be nice to kind of share with you guys, you know, how my first semester went to help give you guys some insight on just what it's like to be in college and what my year was like. If you're new to this, I made a couple similar videos in the past, one detailing my freshman year and one detailing my sophomore year, which I'll link in the iCard above and in the description below. So if you're interested, be sure to check those out. One advice that I've been getting when making like these types of videos is that I should really be splitting them up. You know, instead of doing an entire year review of both semesters, split it up into semester by semester. And I really agree with that sentiment too, because not only will that make like these videos shorter and honestly more digestible, but also because, well, for my first semester at least, I don't have to wait an entire semester before talking about it. And so, you know, there's not this big semester long gap where I have to think back on what did I do my first semester, what classes did I take? I could talk about them right away, right after I took the classes. So without further ado, these are the classes that I took during my junior fall semester at Rice University. Alright, the first class that I took was Comp 310. And 310 was my object-oriented programming class where we programmed in Java. Basically how the class was structured was that every week you'd have a partner project where you take the topics that you learned that week uh, as well as the topics that you learned in the previous weeks and kind of apply them to build out this application with your partner all written in Java. For me, I really enjoyed this class because a lot of the concepts that we learned were really applicable to the real world environment. Our professor really stressed the importance of you know thinking about what you're doing, thinking about the system architecture before you actually code anything out. And that emphasis on building really scalable applications, I think is really important, especially when you're going into you know the tech industry. Now, this class was hard, don't get me wrong. It was a lot of work. But honestly, it was a class where in hindsight, you really appreciate the things that you learned. You really appreciate the things that you did during that class. So yeah, overall, really enjoyed this class. The next class, Comp 382, is my algorithms class. In this class, we delved into the various, you know, computer science algorithms that shaped how we understand computer science to this day. This class was very theoretical, and so there was no coding whatsoever. It was just simply theory and math and algorithms, which was a nice deviation from my previous CS classes where we were constantly coding, constantly doing projects all the time. Though, to be totally honest, I, for one, am not really a theory guy. I find more enjoyment in like actually coding and building things out rather than thinking about you know, the algorithms that were involved, how you want to do this or that, and like the theory behind all that. It's important for sure. And I think everybody, especially CS people, should know these things when going into the industry. But it just wasn't like a topic that, for me, that I was really interested in. But nonetheless, this class really did help me understand the more theoretical side of CS, which will definitely come into hand when I think about building my future applications. Overall, not my favorite class but I did enjoy it and I think I took a lot away from it. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually a double major in both computer science and cognitive science. And so these next three classes are all for my cognitive science major. Let it snow. Let it so to start off, Psych 308 was my advanced memory class. In this class, we learned all about memory and, you know, the fundamental inner workings of memory itself. But this class was still very chill. You know, we had a couple of reading assignments, a couple of homeworks, um, I think two midterms, and a final. So overall, you know, I did enjoy this class. So the next class is actually pretty cool. It's Psych 441. And I was really excited for this class when signing up for it. As you can see by the title, Psych 441 is human-computer interaction. And basically it's how humans and how computers have interacted um, both in the past and in the present. And we talked a little bit about how we'll interact with them in the future. You know, I was really looking forward to this class because it kind of blended both computer science and cognitive science together. And while I was taking the class, the topics were really interesting. I did enjoy learning about 
you know, computer interface design. We learned about how some interfaces evoke certain actions or emotions, which designs work best for, you know, certain tasks. I like the content a lot, though I will say I wish the delivery was slightly better. Delivery-wise, this class was pretty much just a lecture style with some discussion sprinkled in. Um, but for me, I found the lectures to be kind of dry in terms of how they were presented. And so, you know, when topics came up that really didn't interest me too much, I felt like I just zoned out of the class. But overall, you know, this class was relaxing and I think it was a nice addition to my fall semester. And the last class I took this semester was called Huma 125. This class was pretty much an ethical philosophy class. Here we learned a lot about philosophers such as you know Kant, Plato, Aristotle, Locke, and a bunch of other philosophers that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. We also learned about all the different philosophies out there and we wrote some essays, you know, combining what we learned in class with our own stance on some philosophies. Now, given that philosophy, you know, it wasn't really my subject. I think the professor did a really good job in keeping the class engaged. I especially liked the parts where we invited guest lectures. We had guest lectures that came from different universities and they talked about their area of study for, in philosophy and it was really exciting just to hear about them talk about what they're studying in philosophy and you know their stance on how they think about the world. Again, simply because I am not too interested in philosophy I thought that overall the class was a little bit boring, but I still appreciated the content and I definitely, definitely took away new perspectives on how to think about the world. All right, time to talk about extracurriculars. And there really isn't much to talk about because my entire year was online. So the usual extracurriculars that I did when I was still on campus, I wasn't able to do them. Um, so the only extracurricular that I did was my startup called A440. I really focused in and worked hard on trying to build that startup. If you don't know already, I talked about this a little bit before, um, but my startup A440 pretty much is like a classical music live streaming platform and there is a lot to talk about that startup that really merits its own video. So I'll just keep it simple. You know, I worked on my startup. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description below. But yeah, that's what I did for my extracurriculars. Now, junior year is really the year where students, especially people in CS, start focusing on finding those internships, start focusing on really finding which companies they want to work for. Um, and that's kind of obvious because you probably want a job ready for you as soon as you graduate. For me, I just applied to internships. I went online, applied to companies that I thought that I really liked. I also received a couple of phone calls from recruiters that asked me to just go directly into the interview process instead of applying. And one of those recruiters was from Capital One. And so, you know, I talked with them, I went through the interview process and eventually received an offer. And just to keep this short, I did accept their offer because, you know, I really liked the work culture at Capital One. I think they explained exactly what they wanted to do, what they wanted to see me do and what they expected from me really well. And really Capital One was working in this area of like banking and finance that I've really never been exposed to before. So I think Capital One will offer me, you know, a great experience to learn more about the banking industry, learn more about, you know, finance, and I'm really looking forward to it. So those were the classes and extracurriculars that I did during my junior fall semester at Rice University. It was definitely not easy, and I can say for sure that this was probably one of my hardest semesters, both academically but also situationally. You know, this pandemic has really made this semester really difficult. But despite all of that, I think I did enjoy my semester. I learned a lot and I'm really looking forward to the next semester. Of course, as always, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions about Rice University, about me, or just about life in general, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I really do enjoy reading them and responding to them. Again, thanks so much for watching and I want to wish everyone a happy holidays and when it comes to it, a happy new year. So I'll see you guys in the next one.